Five years ago, it took several mammograms and weeks of waiting before Laura Lang was diagnosed with breast cancer at age 50. Today, she's hoping a new test is better. Breathe. This machine for me is such a huge advance. It's something that everybody should know about. Lang is getting a new type of mammogram that gives doctors a three-dimensional view of the breast. Good, you may breathe. Now we have the ability not to just look at the breast, but actually to look through and around structures we weren't able to see before. This is the picture of what a cancer looks like. On Compared to the traditional 2D image, studies found it increases a doctor's ability to spot cancer by 7%. The 3D mammogram also reduces the number of women called back when a result is unclear. So it's going to help us both find more cancers and decrease these number of false positive callbacks. And so that's huge. But some critics say it's more hype than help. The 3D mammogram uses more radiation than a traditional mammogram. It's expected to be more expensive, though the cost won't be set until it's widely available. Most importantly, it hasn't been shown to save more lives. So we love new technology, and we keep piling it on without a clear understanding of what the benefits are. Right now, the 3D mammogram is only available at Massachusetts General Hospital, but it is expected to be introduced at other medical centers nationwide this year, Katie. And when they are, should women ask for 3D mammograms? Well, right now, this technology is approved by the FDA, but not yet recommended by major cancer groups or women's health groups. And it also, the radiologists need time to be trained in this new imaging technique. All of that takes time. So until then, this is a conversation a woman should have with her doctor. Dr. Jennifer Ashton, thank you so much. And for more information, you can go to our partner in health news, webmd.com, and search mammogram.